One of the most common questions we get on the anesthesia and monitoring hotline is how to do a pressure test, or in other words, check for a leak. This machine here is our Patterson Versa 2 anesthesia machine. All right, so the first step is to make sure that you are connected to an oxygen source that is regulated to 50 to 55 PSI. In this instance, we are attached to our central oxygen supply, which would be our wall outlet. Um, otherwise, you may have portable e-tanks hanging here. Um, just make sure that it is regulated to 50 to 55 PSI. Okay, so the second step is to ensure that the oxygen flow is turned off at the flow meter. You can see here that it is because the ball is at the bottom of the flow tube. So for the third step, we will attach the F-circuit that came with the Versa 2 anesthesia machine. So this portion goes to the inhale valve and this portion goes to the exhale valve. And now we'll attach the breathing bag to the bottom of the block here at the bag port. The next step is to close the pop-off valve all the way. And now I'm occluding the end of the breathing circuit at the patient elbow with my thumb. The next step is to press the O2 flush button and introduce oxygen into the system. And we're gonna keep watching the manometer. So it gets up to anywhere between 30 and 40 centimeters of water. And the goal is that it does not drop more than five increments in 20 seconds. If your machine is not dropping, the pressure doesn't drop more than five increments over 20 seconds, then your machine is leak free and you can go ahead and use it. If it is dropping more than that, common places to check for a leak are your end caps on each side of the vaporizer. You might just need to push them in and give them a twist to snug them up. The dome caps, you might need to give them a little twist just to make sure those are snug. The breathing circuit can always be an issue. You might need, just need to switch out with, um, for a different one. Also the breathing bag you also might need to switch out. And then the most common place for a leak is the absorber canister. That's something that gets changed out frequently and um, it may just need to be um, readjusted.